Hey everyone, it's Janet and Gay Forever. Hooray! It looks like Facebook is going to finally let me do a live video. And I am very glad because I um, have some fun things to show you. We got a shipment from Tailored Expressions today and it has lots of fun things in it. First of all, we got back in all of the designer dangle dies. Uh, this is the original one here. And these are the three new ones. And these are designed um, to let you create your very own earrings. These leather and faux leather earrings are all the trend right now. And with these, you can do all kinds of mixes and matches with them. Of course, we did some back um, at the end of the year last year with their original um, die. But now they have some new dies in. And actually, today, we are having a quick class where you can come by and make your own earrings. You can combine these in all different kinds of ways and to um, get all kinds of really amazing earrings. We have all these great faux leathers here. You can see we have just some textured solids, but we have some. This one almost has like a glitter, although it doesn't feel um, rough at all. These here look kind of like gold nuggets. There's a silver one. Here's a really bright, shiny silver one. We've got snakeskin. We have black and white prints. We have um, cork. Lots of fun things. So um, you can create a pair um, for inexpensive. It depends on the shapes you choose and how many. But for instance, you could make this one with this fun um, textured leather. And this one would just cost you $6 a pair to make that. The bigger ones cost a little bit more, and the more layers you add, the more it costs. Um, we are going to actually um, go ahead and do this again tomorrow as well. You don't have to sign up. You can just stop by. So if you'd like to check it out and maybe make a pair of earrings, come on by. All right, so let's jump into what we got. Mostly we restocked on some of the new release, but we got some older um, products back in. We got the Layer It Daisy die back in. This was one of my favorites from a release earlier in the year. You can see this pretty card that we used it on. And we actually have a class coming up next week. Jan is doing this class where we are doing a box card and we're making this little wooden crate full of daisies. And I'll just point out to you that this crate is made with real wood veneer paper, but this is technically a box card. So if you want to collapse it and mail it, you certainly can, although I'm not sure you will be able to give that one up. So um, check that out. That class is next week. A another one that we got back in is the um, Bloomers 9 die. This goes with the framed roses cutting plate, which we have. And there were a couple of new dies, the new script dies that worked with the framed roses cutting plate, the Mr. and Mrs. and the Happy. And so we have all those in. We have the framed roses cutting plate. And I wanted to get these roses back in as well. Um, all right, most of what I'm going to show you now is new. Um, first of all, graduation is right around the corner. And we have some things that are perfect for graduation. This is a new set that is called the Tassel. And you can see this is all stamps. It has a graduation cap on there, the mortar board. And it's got some sentiments. A couple of them are very specific to graduation. The tassel was worth the hassle. And hats off to the grad. But I really like it because some of these other stamps, the stars as well as you did it, celebrate and congratulations could be used for other occasions, not just graduation. There is also a die that you could use separately or it actually matches the... Um, the stamp in that set there if you want to cut out the graduation cap. We also got back in more of the banner year numbers. These are is just a set of numbers. They're not too big, not too small, can be used for lots of different things. They specifically go with the banner year stamp set, which we do have in stock. This is actually a stamp set that has a die included with it. You can see there there is the solid banner stamp. There are also some uh, pattern stamps there that you can stamp those and then you can use the included banner die to cut those out to make patterned banners. And the numbers um, from the banner year numbers die set 
fit perfectly on that banner so that you could put the graduation year and create a really fun graduation card with that. And I will show you that in a minute. Also, both of those things work really well, and some of the samples I'm going to show you also use this new background, which is the Starfall background. Great for graduation, but also good for a lot of other things as well. Uh, this one would be good for graduation, teacher, or just really anything. It is a new cutting plate, so it is um, A2 card size. It fills up your whole background, and this just has the alphabet that it cuts out, and this is lots of fun. It would be great to make a shaker card or use as a great background for a graduation card. Next up is the simple strips, and we do have the stamp. We had gotten that back in last week, if you recall. This is a large background stamp that has a lot of different sentiments on it. I actually haven't counted them, but I bet you there's maybe 15 sentiments on here, if not more than that. All different kinds of things. Happy birthday, a note, happy anniversary, um, some sympathy ones on here. I'm pretty sure there's baby, graduation, welcome to the neighborhood. And what's really nice about this is there is also a die, which we just got back in stock today. The um, Simple Strips die. And this is a single die, and what it does is it aligns perfectly with that stamp, so it lets you cut out all those sentiments in little banner strips all in one go. Really ingenious. This has been really popular, and it was on back order for just a little bit, so we are glad to get that back in stock. Um, got some more also, back, speaking of back in stock, got more of the Oreo ink pads. This is one of our favorite black inks. It's great. It's a hybrid, which means that um, it dries quickly. You can use it with alcohol markers, but you can also use it with watercolors. So we were out of those. We got that back in, and I also got a re-inker for that back in. All right, the last things from the new release that I want to show you are all baby related. And um, this has been popular. I've had people requesting that I get these back in again. So I have the first one is the newest addition to their bubble greetings. This is a stamp and it is a large stamp with a lot of open area. So it's great for coloring that says welcome baby. And I really like this one because it also has the separate stamp down here that has the little bear and the heart and the flower on it and those are perfectly sized to stamp right there on the onesie to provide a little bit of extra something to that. We also have a couple of sentiment sets that are perfect for um, baby cards. This one is the hand lettered baby. It has four stamps on here. These are a little bit larger stamps. You can see here um, what is on this one. And we also got in the um, Inside Scoop Baby. These are designed um, to be used on the insides of cards. A lot of times we can struggle to find something to put on the inside, but you can certainly use it on the outside as well. And I like it because some of these things don't even necessarily have to be on a baby card, but you can see we have the different fonts and sizes on this one so that is really nice um, lastly I want to show you this one which is an old one but the card that we did with this has always been popular and since I was getting the baby things in I thought it was good timing to get this back in this is the baby bottle shaker and with these dies it actually lets you create a shaker card there so that would be great with all the other things there um, all right, so let me show you some samples here real quickly, and um, then that will be it. So first thing we have here is there you can see the simple strips, and this is one of my favorite uses of this. Um, this was the background stamp was stamped on a lot of different colors of cardstock, and they were cut out with the die, and then they were all pieced together to make this amazing, amazing background. Here's a sample using that. Um, let's get in focus here. Come on. Um, and it has just one of the sentiments down here at the bottom. But this one has also used the banner year stamp to create those fun banners. And also up there you can see that pretty plaid. And that uses the buffalo plaid 
background stamp that came out last year as well as the new grid stamp and we do have that both of those in stock all right here is the tassel you can see here a really fun graduation card they've kind of created their own background paper there with the hat here is another one that you can see where they've stamped it they've used the starfall background and stamped and die cut the hat to create that fun card and here is a sample using the banner year and the banner year numbers to create that fun banner with the graduation year on it here is the welcome baby bubble greetings you can see what a cute little card that makes and once again the buffalo plaid and the grid background stamps to create that fun background and yet another one using the alphabet soup cutting plate and also the hand lettered one of the hand lettered baby sentiments there in the center and finally here's one that is using the another one using the baby bottle shaker and it's using the alphabet alphabet soup cutting plate and then one of the sentiments from the inside scoop baby so lots of fun things um, hopefully you can stop by today or tomorrow and make a pair of earrings and check out all the new goodies we got hope you have a wonderful evening and we look forward to seeing you soon goodbye